what is the fundamental frequency of a 0.772 meter long tube open at both ends uh, on a day when the speed of the sound is so and so value. And uh, I hope from your lab, you remember that this is a significant open at both ends uh, with the tubes open end and closed end means different boundary conditions. Here, um, let me specify boundary conditions in, within my preferred uh, representation. I like to use pressure representation. If uh, somehow displacement representation makes more sense, all the power to you, use that. You don't have to use present pressure representation. But when I do use pressure representation, uh, what open end means, means a node at that end. So here, open at both end, we are dealing with standing waves with nodes at both ends. So yeah, okay. So it's asking for the fundamental frequency and it hasn't actually given us a wavelength. They gave us the length of the tube, which is not necessarily the wavelength. So, um, all right, so uh, I have to draw, start drawing pictures. So I'm drawing a picture of a standing wave with the nodes at both ends. Then the, what is the fundamental or the lowest possible frequency? Then I uh, realize, oh, it's this familiar shape of standing wave. That'll give me the lowest possible frequency. So, um, so the, the length from here to here is 0 0.772 meters. And that's not one whole wavelength. In fact, the one whole wavelength would uh, terminate here. So that gives us the wavelength. Wavelength here is 1.544 meters. So um, you have the wave speed. You can get the frequency through this relationship once again. Uh, oh, let me try to make the units come out right. It's going to be V divided by wavelength. Um, all right, uh, so I have wavelength, I have uh, V, yeah, I can calculate F1 easily. And it asks uh, what is the frequency of its second harmonic? And second harmonic, as you saw before, looks like this. So with the second harmonic, this uh, distance, um, uh, this distance d is actually the wavelength and you calculate the frequency based on that so um so yeah just uh, making sure having memorized what uh, this uh, phrase open at both ends means in terms of uh, wave conditions